Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. Jeff Hudson here from United Computer Consultants. I'm often asked by students and other people, how do I create a table of contents? A table of contents which normally appears at the start of a document is like an index which shows me which pages the information is on. I can go quickly to the information in the document as we'll see by holding down my control key and clicking on the item that I want to go to. But first of all of course we need to create the table of contents. So a table of contents works on the level of headings in the data. In this case as you'll see I've got a heading canines with some dogs, felines with some cats, some big cats in there, and uh, a heading for reptiles. So what I'm going to do is to double click on the canines to select them, hold down my control key, double click on the felines, and double click on the reptiles, still with my control key held down. Now up here in the styles group I will make those a heading 1 because the table of contents works on the on the heading level so we'll make them heading 1. Now I'm going to select the dogs control key held down now I'll select the cats and with the control key still held down I'll select the reptiles and I'm going to make all of those a heading 2 and while I've got them selected I'm going to indent them as well just for appearance sake. Now I can click away and there is my uh, data. Now to create the table of contents. As I mentioned the table of contents would almost always appear at the start of a document so what I'm going to do is to click just before the canines and insert a page break up here in the pages group in the insert tab and now I can see that I have a page above so I'm going to control home to go to the start of that page which is now page one all of the information is now on page two and all I need to do is to click on the references tab choose table of contents over here in the table of contents group and I can choose one of the automatic ones there are a couple there or I can create a manual table but I'll choose the first of the automatic ones and as soon as I click on it there is my table of contents with the data suitably indented and with the page number showing. Uh, I can change the uh, wording here from contents perhaps to animals and I'll also click in there and center align it by going to the home tab, center align click away to see my table of contents and there it is. However, what I want to do, and I'm going to go to control end to go to the end of the document, the reptiles I want for whatever reason to appear on page 3, on the next page. So I'm going to right click and cut that information and then I'm going to um, go down to the next page, I'll just hold down my return key and I want to insert or paste that information there by right clicking and paste and now the reptiles are on page 3 but let's look at the table of contents control home, they still show as being on page 2 so what I need to do is to click in the table and update the table and I want to update the page numbers. I could update the entire table but I just want to update the page numbers so watch what happens here for the reptiles. When I click OK the reptiles are immediately being shown as on page 3. Now what I can do is to hold down my control key and when I point at an item it says control click to follow the link. So users of the document can hold down the control key, click on the reptiles and there you are taken there straight away. So uh, nice and easy and um, very very handy because it allows you to create a virtual index without going through the hassle of uh, using the index features in Word. 
However, for those people who do want to create an index in addition to a table of contents, and very often the indexes uh, appear at the end of documents as opposed to the table of contents which appear at the start. Uh, I'll be uploading a video shortly and uh, if you subscribe, if you're not already a subscriber, uh, you will be automatically notified in your email of when that particular video is available. So don't forget to subscribe. We also happen to love likes and comments of course and uh, uh, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.